Someday I'll find you Moonlight behind you True to the dreams I am dreaming As I draw near you You smile, a little smile you know, I think he's one of those writers, no coward, that is timeless because what he's writing about is human relationships and they never really change, do they? But Noel Coward was, a, in, particularly in this play, possibly an amazing observer, acute observer of heterosexual relationships and sexual attraction and in a way that an outsider, as a gay man, could probably see it more accurately than someone inside it. What are we to do? I don't know. Whose yacht is that? The Duke of Westminster's, I expect it always is. I wish I were on it. I wish you would too. I like the audiences here in Toronto. I think they're very smart. They get a lot of the sub subtleties that we're going for. Well, the biggest laugh in the show here is when I say I'm going somewhere. Is there is a particular line which Paul has when he's trying to get out of the apartment and escape without being noticed. I'll give that away, but when I'm going to Canada, they think that's hilarious. And of course, every single night, everyone roars with applause and laughs um, because we're in Canada. <laughs> To me, it felt like a new production. I think it was probably much harder for Kim than, than me. I didn't have any expectations, and I think she was she had to, to not only get used to me, but also get rid of things that maybe I wasn't doing that were done before. My other Elliot was much younger than me. He was 35, and Paul and I are peers, really. So he brings um, he brings a maturity and also a kind of crazy zaniness to it. It was fantastically generous and gracious and never said, oh, here's what we need to do. Which I wouldn't have done anyway, so. All of our sorrows redeeming Try to make it true Say you love me too Someday I'll find you